What is going on, guys? We are... I was going to do a little stream, but I'm running low on time, so I thought I'd film a quick little video. Um, we are testing some lighting setups, but we also got some fun packs to open. So, shout out to Elgato. I just got one of these master mount systems. I still don't know what to do with uh, this little extra arm that I picked up. Um, but I got one of these master mount L's and it is replacing my cheap cell phone holder for my desk cam, which is pretty exciting. Um, but for the first time, don't mind this fucking huge painful pimple on my face. Um, for the first time in probably forever, I've got all of my lights kind of turned on, blanketing the room. I've got a diffuser um, above me, above my room light, which was probably the biggest reason why I filmed a lot of stuff in low light in the past is because I've got this large overhead light and I didn't want things to get too, um, too blown out from the top. And I think that that has kind of been a deciding factor on how much light I'm bouncing off of the walls. My key light uh, from Elgato um, playing the savior in a lot of the videos and streams that we've been doing lately. But with this new little kind of setup that we've got going on here, I'm testing out some things. Um, luckily, I've be been able to turn off auto exposure on my face cam, uh, which... Uh, thankfully means that I'm still pretty happy with these Logitechs uh, for both webcam and overhead cam. As far as getting something kind of juicy for overhead, I've had to keep the auto exposure kind of on so that, you know, when I'm pulling things up towards the camera, it's not being drowned out in, in saturated light. Um, there was a, an awesome comment. I can't remember who it was, but if you're watching this video, thank you for the shout out. Someone commented saying like, Hey, this, these card videos are a little grainy. Try adding more light. And, you know, up until that point, I hadn't really had a comment like that. So I kind of thought that the status quo, the way I'd been doing it was working. Um, and that's not the case. So we're trying something new. Originally, I was just going to film these for socials. Um, but as I need to test new lighting and this new way of uh, setting up the office, I think that this is a great time to record a quick little video, even if I don't have enough time to uh, actually do some streaming. Uh, so I bought three packs. We went to the outlet mall the other day. I bought three packs that are various stages of expensive. We've got a normal set booster. This was the uh, normal price of, I believe, $7.99 here in Canada. The Lord of the Rings set booster is a little bit more at, I think, $9.99. And then the Double Masters 2022, which is, I believe, $30 Canadian. Um, so I thought we could have a little fun and open some packs and just kind of see what we get while testing the light and saying hello at the same time. Um, so we're going to start with the Wilds of Eldraine. Uh, this set is a lot of fun. There's not really any big hits in the main set, but there are a few cards on the list. The, uh, what is it called? The Special Guests. Oh my God. And there's one right there. We got an Ember Cleave. That's pretty rad. Um, so it turns out I opened this pack backwards. So we're going to start <laughs> over here. We've got a cool art card. This is for Necropotence, which is really awesome. Then we got a forest, which is great. I'm going to hold this upside down so I can flip it one direction. Uh, Ferocious Werefox. That's a fun card. Besotted Knight. 
Aquatic Alchemist. Red Tooth Vanguard. Stone Splitter Bolt. Ariet's Tempting Apple. Neva Stalked by Nightmares. Charging Hooligan. And our rare is a Mosswood Dread Knight, my favorite card from this pack. Like this, this card is an absolute banger. Um, it really got me falling back in love with Golgari as a playstyle, and it's it's been pretty mint. Um, our Enchanted Tales is a Hatching Plans, which is kind of meh, and then our foil is a Storm Killed Prowler. But again, we got an Ember Cleave off of the list, which is really, really fun. Uh, I'm just going to sleeve that up real fast. I noticed that the auto exposure was kind of like fighting my hand movements quite a bit there. Um, going from up close to like down low, you can see some of the colors shifting. Uh, quite a bit, which is okay, I suppose. We'll see if it bothers me um, a little later uh, when I'm editing this video. So next up is our Lord of the Rings Tales from Middle-Earth set booster. Now, the one ring has been found, granted, but there's still room for other rings. He desperately tells his partner... When she keeps asking for a wedding band. Uh, we've got an Eowyn Fearless Knight art card. Really, really cool piece of art there. A Swamp. We got a Gladrum Bow. Shower of Arrows. Shire Scarecrow. Shire Terrace. Eolrith of the Healing House. Eomer of Rittermark, Erkenbrand, Lord of Westfold, Prince Imrahil the Fair, and our rare, oh, no, Gothmog Morgul Lieutenant is our full art, and our rare is a Born Upon the Wind. Ooh, and our foil is an Arwen Mortal Queen. That's pretty hype, actually. That's pretty great. And then we get a rules card, which is kind of a meh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll sleeve this one up. That's a great little hit. It's off the print a little bit. Um, it's off to the right a tad. My local game store, the place that I sell most of my cards at in order to buy more singles, uh, they don't favor the off prints that much. They usually dock you quite a bit if you've got a misprint. Um, so sometimes I like to save those for, I don't know, the Facebook group. There's a Facebook group around town that um, shares misprints and, and auctions them off. So, all right, our last pack. I asked the guy at the store which booster pack uh, was most lucrative to buy. And he said, Double Masters 2022. Um, I don't think he thought, like, of all time. But we'll have to see. I don't know what order to open these in. There's a Fairy Rogue at the front. So maybe the token's at the back. Yeah, I'm right. So we've got Hissing Iguanar. I've never opened one of these. A Coiling Oracle Full Art. I like a good Coiling Oracle. Gnarlback Rhino. Skeleton Archer. That's a cool one. Makeshift Mauler. Militia Bug Bugler? Bugler? Bugler. He's bugling. Severed Strands. Spark Mage's Gambit. A Terminate Full Art. Well, that's pretty cool. A Rancor. Surreal Memoir. Terrifying. 
And our first rare is a Drog Skull Reaver. Seven mana for a flying double strike lifelink whenever you gain life draw a card. That's pretty good. We get a Glimpse the Unthinkable, like that card. Our foil is a Dark Dweller Oracle. And then we get a Bear's Companion. Never seen that before. And a Cryptic Spires. And then we get a Fairy Rogue. Um, Spirit Token. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, let me know what packs to open. And uh, next time I'm at the store, I'll, I'll give it a, a quick check over and maybe pick some up. And we can have some more of these shorter videos on the YouTube channel uh, with some pack openings. But until then, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, thank you for all of the comments. All of the views on the video have been incredible. I'm so thankful um, for everyone that's stopping by and saying hello and enjoying magic with me. Uh, it really warms my heart and my cockles. It's something that I, I don't take for granted, and I love uh, being a part of this community, even in a really small way. I know that I keep saying I can't do much content because of work and life stuff, um, but I really miss Magic, and I haven't been playing enough of it, so hopefully we'll get a chance to do some short streams soon, um, maybe even jump into some arena, uh, practice for some... PTQs and RTQs. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So again, thank you so much. Let me know what you think of this new lighting setup. Uh, again, here's the card table. Uh, was, I'll splay some of these out a little bit. That's just absolute havoc. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.